love, um, it's not just a romantic love, I think uh, we need to have an agape love, love from above, the father's love, I call it, <laughs> the love of the creator, because uh, just romantic love and there's a limit, yeah? and when we love friends as well, uh, sometimes come to a point that if you need to forgive, uh, it's love is about decision as well, you, you need to to decide to forgive, it's not the feelings. So sometimes I feel like I need the source of love. When my love, I, I ask love every day. One day without love is is a boring or miserable day, because <laughs> someone can upset you and you can take long time to forgive. And so if you are walking in love, it's so easy. You get used to forgive, and you get used to understand people and you know watch because I study people. And it, but I see, wow, if the person did this, it's because of their past, you know, the, his past. And do you know what I mean? It's like we understand parents mm. when we grow up because we become old. <laughs> so to love the people that killed my brothers is easy if I try to be in their they position and say, wow, the economy was a problem. They may had a problem with their parents and they maybe love the money. And that is the root of all evil. So they killed my brothers after kidnap, or the other one because my brother lended money. So they didn't want to pay. They prefer to kill. So it's like, why they killed? Because they had problems. They don't have God. They don't have love for themselves. How how you can love if you don't have love? So it's a it's it's like my romantic love is so amazing, eh? but it's painful when we break up. <laughs> so we write songs. We embrace that pain. We learn our lessons. We learn to to respect ourselves and say, wow, if this person doesn't love me, why I need to be cry? I will not, like I sing yellow. Um, and when I was reading the words of yellow, I said, oops, I will not bleed myself dry for someone. Jesus did, that is enough. But uh, some people do. So we need to have this thing, wow. Uh, so I, my conception of yellow is like God was singing to us. Cold play was just like, he, he thought he was inspired by the yellow page. <laughs> I think he was inspired by the source of love. Like, look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. So if you see the genesis of our planets, you know, because for me, the, the root Jupiter, Mars is mine. It's yours. It's for us. It's for the balance of the universe. And the moon, how it influences us. If the moon was closer to the, the Earth, just a little bit. We will not have lovely waves to enjoy the, the summer. In the summer, we will not. It will be so big the wave. We will not have Earth. <laughs> you know, the Earth will be not possible. We will be not possible. We will be here now. So the sun, the, the sun is in the right place. So the, the architect, the plan, the design of the the genesis of the universe. It's so beautiful that definitely was made with a lot of love with a lot of emphasis. So I feel loved. If it didn't exist, exist anybody in this world, the whole world, just to see the trees, the flowers, the birds and everything, I feel loved. Do you know what I mean? So it, we, we, it's so easy. The, the, the money and the ambition and, uh, that, and also things we learn in the school. I love science. And science is proving day by day that we came from a creator. Our DNA it's amazing. We create you. You have your gift. You have your gift here. Look what we create. This camera. Ah, oh, baby. This is amazing. We 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 are creating now three dimension things. Why? I saw an angel. It's a three dimension. Do you know? Uh, um, not just one angel. Angels. I saw more. But what I'm saying to you is, if we open our minds and listen to our heart, guide our heart. Because if you put a lot of things wrong in your mind, your heart will go to love money to be ambitious in the wrong way. So what I feel is love take control of our life if we give the space. Because God gave us free will. It's like your child. Anyway, ask me more thing. You will do this later. Yeah, you think the best. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, you seem very positive. What do you do if you feel uh, broken down? What do you think? What I cry. Do you do? <laughs> <laughs> How do you help yourself yes. to get better? I cry, I kind of a process the thing. I think it's okay to cry. It's okay to say it, like in Beauty of the Blues. And most of the time when we are sad, it's amazing time for we think. We need that time. Not just to talk with friends, it's very important to talk with friends because they give us feedback. But good friends. Some friends they just they don't give the good feedback. But I I pray to God 
and I'm very honest with God. If I'm sad, I'm very sad. <laughs> um, so it's like when when I lost my parents, this was, and it was easy easier to lose my parents than lose my two brothers that was young. And then I lost now the producer, one of the producers of this album last November. So I'm so sorry that I'm talking a lot about God, life. Um, death and things, but it's my moment, it's my reality, I cannot run away, I embrace everything, I embrace this amazing moment here, but you need to embrace sadness the same way you embrace uh, happiness. If you go to a funeral or a moment, vulnerable moment like now, Poland lost the president and a lot of important people, special people, um, it's a time to think that we are not in control. Do you know, we are not, we think we can control the environment, no way. You can put all the cars and all the, the fabrics giving, you know, like uh, um, pollution to the earth. If, it, if it, the nature decides to put a lot of volcanoes uh, to erupt at the same time, our, you know, our contribution would be zero <laughs> in comparison with them. So we are not in control. We make our plans, but God decides. So I think the pride of our heart when we face death, like Mark, the producer, Mark Smith, that, that died, he lost his mother just one month before he died. And we are, he was sensitive. So we are talking about this, making jokes, but also we are talking about sadness because he lost his 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 life. And he was making a joke with me. He said, uh, if I die, you know, we'll stop there. I said, no, ma, we'll not stop there. Your mom, I'm sure she's already in an amazing place. So he was prepared. In a way, we talked, we for his death. So we need to think about life, but think as like a school time that we need to enjoy and to appreciate how amazing this atmosphere that we have, that the moon, we don't, <laughs> if we leave the moon, we'll be terrible. We'll be not beautiful. We cannot have nice hair. We'll be always with the, something horrible in the face. So it's beautiful uh, to be alive. And it's a... Um, it's a gift, really. And it's a gift to me now to be in Poland and to be loved and to love people because it's easy to love Poland. It's not easy to love people that like kill my brothers and things. Then this God gave me this love to them. But it's a process. Sometimes, like I, I have a friend, she was abused by her father. It took a long time because she forgives her father. And I said, you need to forgive. You don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. We need to move on and Say, we are not perfect. We not, never can be so perfect. You know? So we need to accept ourselves and try to do our best. And that is it. And, and love God. God is not expecting us to be perfect, just to be friends. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you, you seem to trust people and trust your faith. Yeah, um, I don't expect uh, from people... Um, they be perfect with me. Mm -hmm. Yesterday yeah. you invited your fans to uh, see you after the concert, yes. after Smooth Festival. Are you going to do that? Yeah, I, lo <laughs> I love that. I love the feedback because I, I think for intellectual people, for simple people, I think for young people, for middle age and everything, and it, they see the, al uh, the show and the album in a different way. It, and I think this is a massive privilege. And it's a, I am so thankful to God for this double platinum, but I'm this double platinum is for you guys as well, you know what I mean? I, it's, it's to my creator, it's to me, but it's for you because without my fans, I'm nothing. I'm just like a normal person walking the street. But the, the fans gave me um, a gift, and I, I, I returned to them because, I don't know, just to sing in the studio is beautiful, but to contact people, to feel the energy. It's like I'm book, I have a book of memory. Each show I do, it's different. It's unique, and it's because of the people. Mm -hmm. that we are so powerful. I feel the energy of them, and they feel my energy. And if I can inspire one person, and because they inspire me so much, I 